Right, good morning ladies and gents. Welcome to Monday 26th of October. It's a bit of an odd one today. It's cold, it's dark, it's damp. Definitely in autumn now. Right, so one of the first little jobs this morning is this old girl. Uh, we've been using this bucket now for about 10 years, doing all sorts of jobs. And the bucket is quite warm. I don't think you'll see it now. I don't know how well you can see that. She's quite warm in that corner. So one of the first jobs today was to ring the local contracting lad who gets our parts in. I had a word with him about replacing the cutting edge on that bucket. He said, yeah, that's no problem, we can get them in. So I've ordered that. Uh, what I've got to try and do now is take off that back plate. If you can't tell, it's chucking it down. So I've got to try and grind off all these welds that run it. That hold it on place. Um, so I can get it off to get the new one on to weld the new one. If that makes sense. Second job, we've decided. Well, I've decided. Mm -hmm. I need to try and sort out some kind of lights on the back of this old lass. Uh, they used to have two sets of lights on them. They used to work quite happily. Over time and age, she's right out. And the same on that side as well. <laughs> can you see the tin worm? So I've got to try and one, work out if the electrics work anymore, and then to look about getting some new lights on it. I could cheat and just put a, put a pair of plug-in lights like I've got here. These are a pair of magnetic ones. If you saw George Saunders the other day, these are cable, cable side ones. They work quite well. And yes, I have cut them at least twice <laughs> already. Um, so yeah, I could actually get a cabled pair and just magnetise the lights on. That's a bit of a hash job. So first job is try and find out what lights we've actually got. So ignition on. Right, left indicator. Hey, right indicator. That'll do me. Right, brakes. Right, that works there. So that's the trail light, so if I do need to bodge it, I can just put some trail lights in. Right. Look at that, indicator. Right, try brake now. Oh, forget the leg round. Yep, no brake light. So, that's a start anyway. Just need to try and work out where the fault is in there. And we'll get back to it. God, look at it coming down. Oh, that's horrid. Plus, bossman's asked me to uh, put a grill back on. But if you noticed, she's uh, redesigned. <clears throat> Come back in here. Story being, because the 698s are notoriously rubbish at starting when it's cold, uh, it usually kills the battery off. So a grill comes off to get to the battery to put the jump pack on. Well, it was cold. I think it was snowing as well. I took the grill off and laid it next to the wheel. Started her up. Took the jump back, jump pack off the tractor. And then set off. Straight over the top of the grill. And the only time I realised is when that wheel had gone over it as well. So I need to try and find a new grill. Or try and salvage that one, but it might be easier and cheaper to just buy a new grill. So I only drove it from there to there. <laughs> uh, never mind. Right, so next project is the tractor bucket. We noticed a while back that these corners have been worn out. And if look where the ruler is, you can see how much has been worn off. It's like a good, what, 50 mil. Right, it's actually into the corner of the, the bucket itself. So, ordered a replacement part. 
Uh, it's lost basically lost two inches off it altogether. So, all of the new cutting edge. So what I've got to do now is go down here and nip through all these welds all the way down through the main bit there and then on the other side flip it back over and cut through them so I've just got it on the chain hoist onto the roof beam a bit of rag up there just to protect the strop and flips her over use the trolley to get her in and out and mess around so we'll see what happens from now on Right, morning ladies and gents, welcome to the 27th of October, Tuesday morning, and we're back on with this. So yesterday I cut all the tabs at the back of the bucket that hold that cutting edge onto the bucket. And there's some welds that are about that long, about 2 inch, 50 mil long, I think there's 6 of them, and then there's some... Uh, bands of steel that run up the back of the bucket, two of them, just cut, nip, cut, well, cut through them, nipped through them. Then I came down the side and cut through there, all you can see. Um, and then I tried going in from the front. So going in that way with grinder and I was struggling. So I made a couple of little cuts in there just to see how far back he went. I don't know how well you'll actually see it, but you can see there, that bit with my finger is, is the weld and that bit's where the steel is. So what I've done is cheated and I've scored a line all the way down. And I'm gonna do is cut behind that, oh, along that line behind the weld. Doesn't mean I'm gonna lose a couple of mil off the bucket itself, but Save me a lot of time I and mean, just weld a, run a couple of beads around the front of it, which will pull that back out again anyway. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how we go. I hadn't actually noticed as much, but if you can see there, there's a bump there and a bump there. Where those bits of uh, weld are on the back of the bucket, it's actually got mud in behind where they haven't welded and actually heaved it up a little bit. Because when I do some of the muck keeps, I drag back with the bucket. And it's obviously pressing it in. So what's happened down here is I've cut. And I'm just going to show you. But that's actually sprung back up again. So hopefully when I get this plate off, or the cutting edge off, I can knock this plate back down again. And clean all the rubbish out the back, which means then when I put the new cutting edge on, I'll do a full beam, a uh, full weld, the bead down the back of it, try and keep that muck out. I don't know how everybody else does it, but this is how I'm going to be doing it. Right, I'm catching a bit. Right, so we're halfway through anyway. Uh, cutting edges off. You can see that here. You can probably tell how little there is left of it, and how worn it is compared to the centre. So I've got that off. Uh, exactly how I thought. Weld down that front bead and then some stitching on the back all cut off. Front edge, I've ground back a little bit. I put a bit of a chamfer on it. A bit easier for the weld. Uh, cleaned off the corners. They're all done. And put a pole in the middle. Now, I went down to pick up the new cutting edge for this from the contracting lad, the parts lad. Um, unfortunately, he had the wrong one in. He had one for a load all. So one that had like a like a five or six mil plate steel bucket. Uh, he said I could have it for one, but the only problem was it would have sat above the lip of the cutting edge would have sat above the rest of the bucket. So stuff would have had to try and get over the lip to get out. So it'd been harder. You'd have to shake the bucket, and it's just a bit of a pain. But what I did say was put a bit of steel in the middle like this. So. <laughs> welded in a little bit at the bottom a little bit at the top um, and he said the, the lad that used to do his used to put one in to try and keep his bottom straight and level 
when he welded in the new piece. So we'll give it a try. Um, I'm kind of planning to do start from the centre and out. So if I do need to change anything or it, I don't know warps, I can at least try and figure it out by the end. Um, and then try and get some of these bumps out as well. Um, this edge here is actually flat, or near enough flat for my liking. It's just a little bit behind it where it raises up. Uh, so I'll try and G-clamp and pull it back in again and make the job good, he says. So that's going to be it for a minute. Um, call this a video because I'm going to have to go get some parts now and get sorted out. So it'll probably be Friday before I get them sorted. Uh, I've got a couple of days tree work with Martin. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, thank you very much and I'll catch you later. Cheers.